Hi folks, today I want to tell you what is likely to be announced by Sony in 2024. A list of cameras that I think are coming based on the rumors I got from trusted sources, also based on some speculation, but I do believe 70-80% of what I'm going to tell you today will be spot on for 2024. So a really good guess of what you can expect or cannot expect. But before I talk to you about all those cameras, please take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button to not miss any of the upcoming rumors. As you can see from my new Christmas tree, we are getting close to the end of the year, so it's about time we are talking about Sony's plan for 2024. In my previous video, I talked to you about the possible new Sony lenses, and today I will go through a list of cameras that we can expect to get in 2024. Let's start with the first camera to be announced. It will be a new E-mount video camera. So certainly not an A7S IV or FX3 of FX30 successor, but this will be a very mid-level video center camera like the FX6 or FX9. So expected to be announced in around January or February at max. And this will be the very first Sony announcement of the year. After that, we are likely to get a new vlogger focus camera from Sony, could be the ZV E10 II, the APS-C E-mount vlogger camera. As you know that market is booming and Sony really wants to sell as many vlogger cameras as possible, so there is a very good chance this camera will be announced in uh, February, March, something like that. What else can we expect in the first half of the year? From a logical point of view, it would make sense for Sony to announce a new A7S IV camera because this is the oldest camera in the lineup. The A7S III was announced four years ago, so it's about time they update it. But I still don't have a final confirmation from trusted sources if this is indeed going to happen. So I'm a bit more uncertain here. It would be logical, but I still don't have a solid info it's coming. There are some people speculating that a uh, new A7S camera doesn't make sense at all because we now have very great FX camera. This is a new lineup launched by Sony with the FX30, the FX3, and those are really great cameras for filmmakers. So some people do believe it's redundant to announce the A7S IV. I disagree because the A7S IV has a different kind of body. It has integrated EVF, a bigger grip. So there is a reason to buy such kind of camera. So I do believe this camera is coming likely in early 2024, the first half of 2024. Specs are still unknown. Uh, we speculated that it might be used a new kind of high sensitivity sensor, so two layer sensor, whatever. But uh, as you know, the S stands for sensitivity. So high ISO performance is very important. I still do think this will be a 4K camera and not try to use a high resolution sensor for 8K. But this is just uh, my opinion. There is no solid rumor as of yet. Regarding the second half of the year, what can we expect? I know for sure or nearly for sure that we cannot expect a new A6000 APS-C E-mount camera. That's likely not to be announced in 2024. So forget about that or even uh, the long time dreamed A7000 APS-C E-mount camera, a camera that would look like a E7 but have an APS-C sensor. Would make sense for me, but Sony disagrees with my opinion and of, also with the opinion of many of you. So no APS-C E-mount camera, uh, a part of the vlogger focused uh, ZV E10 II. And in the second half of the year, we should again get some new E-mount focused video camera. And I still don't have a final confirmation about what kind of alpha hybrid camera to expect, but so far, it looks like we are not getting the A7 V. This is more likely to be announced in 2025. So if you're hoping to get a new A7 IV successor, um, yeah, you might be disappointed because you have to wait much longer. And the, our best bet is to get the A12 sometimes in November 2024. This camera in November 2024 will also be nearly four years old. And in the meantime, we got a lot of competition. We got the Nikon Z8, Z9 that are really great. We will also have the Canon R1 that is coming the first half of 2024. So it would make a lot of sense for Sony to launch a new flagship alpha camera by end of 2024 that can outshine all those cameras with a lot of new features. It will nearly certainly not have global shutter. Uh, forget about that. It will have a very fast rolling shutter with 60 
uh, FPS for sure, probably also 8K 60 FPS recording, uh, new AI features. I don't know if the resolution of the sensor will increase, doesn't sound like it would decrease, maybe it will stick around the 50 megapixel sensor, which is perfectly fine. And other than this camera, I don't think we are getting any other alpha camera. So the E7S IV and the A12 are the likely cameras to be announced in 2024 when it comes to the alpha lineup, while we are getting a lot of video cameras with E-mount and also some ZV model. What else can we expect in 2024? Maybe, and this is a big maybe, but there's a small possibility we are getting a new RX1 fixed lens full frame camera. I would love to get this one, but uh, there is still no final confirmation, but we know that Sony uh, is open to the idea. They said it in a, in a couple of interviews in the past, and they also launched some survey among alpha photographers, so they are surely thinking about it. So maybe we are getting this kind of camera in 2024. What about possible surprises, something that is completely unexpected? As you know, Sony is quite conservative when it comes to their camera roadmap. They tend to really make uh, small improvements uh, using a certain design that works since four years. Um, I would love if they would start to think out of the box and also announce cameras that are completely different, like I told you before, maybe a uh, uh, E7000 APC high-end camera, a uh, new vintage style camera, medium format camera, uh, new RX uh, fixed lens models. But this is all very difficult. Uh, I mean, it's Christmas time, so we can have our wish list for 2024, but I don't want to give you any hope. As of now, I didn't get anything that is unexpected. And, uh, but I hope to be wrong. So I hope that Sony has some kind of secret project for 2024. I do believe it's about time that companies start to be more innovative and also think in a different way. But uh, yeah, that's a bit difficult with Sony. But to wrap it up, this is my roadmap for 2024. I do believe it's 70, 80% accurate uh, regarding the E-mount cameras we're getting, the video cameras, the vlogger camera the A7S4 A7 and the likely maybe the A12 and uh, I'm particularly excited about the A12 and also about the A7S4 because I want to see what kind of direction Sony is working and I'm still crossing my fingers that there is some kind of unexpected product that will really wow us for 2024. Maybe this is going to happen. Let's see. This is it for today folks. See you soon.